Hello and welcome to Around the Global. This is Shelley. Today I wish to share with you my five top tips of dealing with sudden stresses, um, confusion, um, or unexpected happening in your life when you really don't understand why a certain person have acted with the, the way they did, or why are you feeling um, angry or anxious? Many times um, I am um, actually busy, so thank you so much for waiting um, to come through for a private consultation on Aranam.com. In the meantime, I would like to encourage you to uh, use these five steps whilst waiting for your consultation. I call these Shelley's top five tips or five, four, three, two, one. Number one, relax. And remember to breathe. Your situation is likely to be 30 to 40% better to what you actually perceive it to be right now in the haze of the sudden happenings and the shock that you may have come through. Number two, see yourself from a distance, have situation awareness. What have I done contribute to this situation or is there anything that I have done to bring these things on me, to attract these things? Look deep within. If you find that there is nothing that you have done, to be in this situation, then let it go. You are not to become the victim of your own life. Number three, if your issues include any goal, any one, or more than one of them, try this. Step in their shoes and think, what would I do in their situation? Why? Are they doing this? What is it that they read from me? What is their impression? What is their message that they get from me? If you take a few moments to do this, it will give you the kind of um, clarity, possibly um, even give you the solution um, that will lead you to, to again be calmer and see the situation for what it is as opposed to um, coming close to giving up and seeing yourself as somebody who got caught up in this and uh, one find their way out of the situation. Number four, I'd like you to focus on your heart chakra, on your heart, and start opening it. And start seeing people through your heart. This is a very simple and very effective exercise. Practice forgiveness and understanding towards everyone. There really is no point in holding a grudge, and there really is no point in punishing yourself with hard feelings such as anxiety, or anger, jealousy, or sadness in itself. Number five, turn your anxiety into positive anticipation. When you think about it, anxiety and positive anticipation translate to exactly the same thing. You are wanting something. You are longing for something to happen or for someone to come into or come back into your life. Whereas anxiety makes you feel horrible, that awful cringing feeling in your stomach, in your chest. Positive anticipation was Focusing on exactly the same thing gives you an inner smile and the freedom to expand your thought and your vision into where and who you may want to see yourself in the future. I do hope that you will find my five tips useful in just bringing yourself to that level of resonance where you will be able to see a little bit more clearly, breathe regularly and indeed receive your private consultation.
practice these five steps whilst we're waiting to complete for my reading over my prayer over the night and um, see the effect that they will have. Join me on the Aramon community site within Aramon.com. I also have a club called Shelly Secret Social Club where you can share your amazing story and I contribute myself with uh, many, many comments on a daily or almost daily basis. So do enjoy your time on Aramon and I look forward to talk to you very, very soon.